Um, Thomas, I have a question. You see, um, people have their experiences wherever they go to. You know, I've had my first my first year of you know being a foreigner in Poland, and as a matter of fact, being tax care. So I want to ask you, uh, since you came to Poland, what have been your experiences? Maybe good, maybe bad, but share me your thoughts on what are the things you have you know experienced in Poland. So what is it like being black in Poland? Thank you very much for that question. So being black in Poland can be a fantastic experience or it can be your worst nightmare depending on how you present yourself you know, to the public. You know, um, a lot of the things that people go through in life you know, is because of how they present themselves. You know, people are victims of racism based on how they present themselves. You know, there are certain places that you go to and this can actually expose you to racial abuse. Okay, so I'm going to use my own personal experience and another person's experience that I heard about. Okay, so let me just start with that person's experience first. So I heard about this guy that went to a club or a party and um, he got talking with a Polish girl or some group of Polish girls, you know, I can't really remember exactly. Then, um, before you know it, um, I think somebody came and started questioning him why he was talking to the girl or something like that. But what happened was that he was beaten up and these guys came in, you know, they came like not just one person, they beat him up. You know, he was really beaten based on what I heard. Okay. Now, if this person hadn't gone to that place, he wouldn't have been a victim of that racial assault. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, okay, now let's look at my own case study. Okay, this time around, I didn't go to a party or a club. I was just on the street, walking on the street, heading over to a small market. And this man, maybe he should be around 45, 40 something or thereabout, he came to me and he started uh, racially abusing me. He started calling me names like um, something of, something of sort of like a black monkey, you no, know, something in that category. And I didn't actually do anything to him. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even respond. And you know what? The man kept following me. In fact, even when I was trying to enter inside the market, he was trying to follow me there. That was when I now reacted, hey. Then, you know, the man became, uh, he became a bit of afraid, you know, that kind of a thing. So, this is my experience in Poland, you know. And also, I can also talk about my experience in Turkey. For example, in Turkey, <laughs> if you're walking on the street, somebody might just tell you, catch that. So in Turkey, in Turkish, it means what is the time? Cash out. And once you check your skin, they'll say you're black. <laughs> I'm telling you. So I didn't know that time until when um, I was working with a friend, a Kenyan, who speaks Turkish better than me. And he, he understands the system better than me at that time. Then uh, we were working and one guy was asking us cash out. And the guy immediately knew that this guy wants to racially abuse us. And he started warning the guy. <laughs> he started warning him. And you know something, I went to Ankara, the same thing happened. One guy was asking me to scar sat, and I remember what happened. And if you don't know, you're a novice and you just check your, like, first of all, we, we weren't wearing a watch, a wrist watch. Why are you asking us, what is, it, what is the time? So I went to Ankara and somebody was doing the same thing, but I already knew what it is like. So, you know, the thing is that no matter where you go to, okay, regardless of where you go to, um, there's racism. In fact, I've even seen a black person that is racist. He told me that he, he is racist to black, to white people. So I am not here to promote racism or to promote hate. I'm a black person and I love the white people. I love the Asians. I love everybody. Okay, this channel is for love, is to, is to promote love. But in terms of uh, my experience in Poland, this is a share of my experience in Poland and that of another person that I've told you about. And what I can tell you is that it depends on how you present yourself. Even me, that I didn't even present myself in the wrong way. I was just walking on the street during the daytime. Somebody came and started harassing me on the street. Now, it becomes very worse when you go to the club, to the party house, all those places. And, you know, being in places that you're not supposed to be, you know, can actually uh, kind of uh, expose you to racial assault, which... I would advise if you're in Poland, one thing that will help you in Poland or Europe or abroad is you have to mind your business. Just mind your business, go about your activities, don't respond. Even if, you're in, even if anybody is, is uh, racially abusing you, don't respond. I realized something. If 
if somebody is racially abusing you and you don't respond, it hurts them. That was what hurt that man when I, I refused to respond to him and he was coming to me, you know. But if once you now respond back, you know, you're in their country, they might bundle up to beat you up or they might do, uh, they might do something crazy to you, you know. <laughs> Before I proceed, let me share something that happened to me when I went to talk in uni. So I was walking, passing uh, across this, um, I think it was high school or primary school, small kids. So <laughs> when they saw me passing, they were very curious as to whether um, I painted myself black. They thought I'm white, but I painted myself black. They came and they were <laughs> touching me. They, they, they were like, okay, maybe if they touch him, they would be able to scrape off <laughs> the black <laughs> the black paint. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was so hilarious, you know. So <laughs> I'm telling you, like in Turkey, there was even a, a, a case whereby one guy, um, I think on the street, from what I heard, because I know the guy, but. Uh, so one man, well-built Turkish man, was racially abusing him, something like that. Then um, I don't know what happened, Shah. I think the, the guy went to respond to the guy, replied him or something. Like that. And this guy, this particular African guy, is even slim. He's not even well-built. He <laughs> doesn't even have the physique. So this Turkish guy uh, took advantage of it and and broke his arm. I think he carried the the, the African guy, Kenyan guy, to eat on the ground. Then the guy fell with his and he was even taken to the hospital i think it was even on the news and the guy that did the thing was nowhere to be found i think the, before police came was nowhere to be found you know and at the end of the day even if they take the matter to the police he's a he's the citizen they might free him somehow when i was in cyprus if you hit i heard if you hit a car if a, if a black person hit a car right like you're driving and you mistakenly hit a car right they would come for you yeah, they'll come for you. Like the, the way they would handle it is not the way they will handle it if their citizen hits a black man's car. So you know all these things is that you just have to uh, behave yourself, comport yourself, and don't mind uh, people. Because if it's say because of racism and you don't come abroad, then you stay in your country now. Because somebody came to my channel and was saying that I'm 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 saying that people should go to Lithuania to work in Lithuania. That do I know the amount of racism in that country? I was like, is your country better than Lithuania? Yeah, is your country better than Lithuania? They are Europeans, they are, in, they are in Europe, and they have better opportunity than us. If our leaders were, were better, we are good, are we going to be in the mess that we are now? No. But you have to hustle, right? And you know what they brought you here. You just have to face it squarely and don't mind any uh, disturbance around you. Like, if a dog is barking, you know something about dog? You know, people are afraid of dog. I'm not afraid of dog. Whenever a dog is barking, I just keep walking. In fact, if I have the chance, I'll come and touch his head and be doing like this on his head. And it, the dog will just go down. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, that's the, that's the secret. That's what I found out about dogs. So you just come and be doing like this on their head, like this. It will go down, you know? So as far as you don't run away when a dog is barking or you don't try to attack it, it won't do anything to you. That's something I observe. And this, it, it can liken this to racial abuse. When people are racially abusing you, they are looking for your trouble. They, are, they want to see the beast in you. you know, just keep the angel in you, you know? keep that dove nature in you going and they'll be ashamed they'll be hot inside of them you know so this is one of the ways to overcome racism when you come abroad stick to what you want to do and as i've said earlier racial abuse is almost everywhere there are black people that hate white there are asians that hate white but i know that it's a lot here because of the skin color the you know they look at us as they are more superior than us what i can say is that not everybody is a racist i've met some black, I mean some white people who are good people and they are not racist, okay? Not all of them are racist. So, but I know that a lot of them are racist. So what you should do is, when you come here, comport yourself, face, if you come for studies, face your studies squarely. If you come for work, face your work squarely and don't allow any of these things to disturb you, you know? So if you're on your own, you're always moving on your own and you're, nobody will come and harass you. Even if they harass you, you know that you're on your, you're on your right, you know? And at least you know you're on your right, you know. So that's what I can say about racism. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Um, Thomas, for that um, experience. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's quite some information, some advice for people who are studying or working abroad and people who are wanting to travel abroad as well. You know, it's, it's, it's one kind of, you know, um, dilemma that people are going through abroad. But thank you. Um, so if you are new here, kindly 
like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. All right, guys, I have wonderful content on this channel. I've traveled to several countries around the world, and I have the necessary experience and intellectual competence to guide you to make an informed decision and to help you in your immigration journey or decision. So ensure that you stay glued to this channel by subscribing and clicking on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And also, if you want to have one-on-one -on -one consultation with me about your movement abroad or about anything, career advice, you'll see the link in the description below. Just click on it. Once you've clicked the link and do the needful, then please uh, contact me. Just take a screenshot of it and contact me via any of my social media handle, whether uh, Instagram, or Facebook or email okay but I prefer Instagram because um, I'll be able to get it faster on email it might go to the spam folder okay so we can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation and I can guide you about your immigration okay